Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Together, you and me are going to make you a better league player. So you want to reach that gold that all your friends are in, but you are still in silver. Or even better, you want to reach diamond when all your friends are going to remain in gold. Well, that can only be achieved in one way, and that is to improve your gameplay. Now, I bet you've heard this a million times before, and I could just be making another video about tips and tricks that you can do, like just pick one champion so you become really good at it, or practice one lane so you become really good at it. But in the end, what's gonna matter is that you focus on improving your gameplay. Forget about wins, forget about MMR, just focus on improving each and every game. What I'm gonna do in this video is gonna show you the amount of skills it takes for you to master so that you become an actual master at League of Legends. And you'd be surprised, there are quite a few of them. But before we go into the actual skill system that League of Legends players have to be mastering, I'm gonna be teaching you about another system so that you understand something very important. And that system is the Pokemon IV and EV system. Wow, you beat me a lot faster than most people. Yeah, no duh. Your Zubat's nature is friggin' garbage. Nature? Hmm, I don't know what that is. Teach me what that is! Yeah, no. I'm an EV trainer, man. It's like a super secret art that's only for true Pokemon masters. Whoa. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Oh, Pokemon's for babies. I don't like Pokemon. Well, I'm just gonna explain to you the system, and if you don't like it, just skip it. When you're training your Pokemon, you can focus on seven different stats. HP, Attack, Defense, Speed, Special Attack, and Special Defense. When you first catch a Pokemon, or when it first hatches, each of these skills is gonna have an individual value, or IV, that will range from 0 to 31. These individual values are what determine how strong your Pokemon actually is, and you have no control over it whatsoever. Your Pokemon might be born with 31 at all of the stats, or with 0 at all of the stats. And this is something that cannot be changed, you are born with it. This can be applied to League of Legends too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, in Pokemon there is something else called an Effort Value, or EV. This can range from 0 to 255 and these are achieved by training your skills or stats. Now what does this mean? This means that a Pokemon with high IVs that was not EV trained will still not beat a Pokemon with low IVs but with really high EVs. Basically, even if you're taller and have longer legs, you are not going to beat me in a race if I train every day. To put it into perspective, here's an example. Faker and Bjergsen have really high IVs and EVs because they were naturally born to be League of Legends players and at the same time they practice every single day. Now don't get discouraged, even though you might not have been born to play League of Legends like some of these LCS players, you might still become very very good if you just put in the effort to train your skills and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing here. In League of Legends there are many many skills and they can be divided into four categories. Mechanical, Game Knowledge, mechanical and game knowledge, and other. Examples of these are kiting, power spikes, map awareness, and attitude. Each individual skill can be measured like this. Coming back to Pokemon, you know I love Pokemon. The experience needed to go from one to two is gonna be much, much lower than going from 99 to 100. This basically means that if you train a skill that you're very bad at, you're gonna notice improvement much faster. On the other hand, if you practice a skill you're already good at, you're not gonna notice much improvement. To measure how many points you can award yourself in each skill, you can come up with realistic objectives like this. Let's take map awareness as an example. Now, you'll notice that to get from 0 to 50, all you have to do is look at the map like once a minute or when deciding to go for a trade. But if you really want to master map awareness, you need to go beyond what you already do. If you already look at the map once every few minutes, then try to look at it more, several times a minute. Look and ping every few seconds. Follow the movement in the fog. And when you really want to master the skill, you're gonna have to look at the map between every CS. 
My advice is that you should focus on the skills you're currently bad at. So if you're already good at map awareness, go train something else. If you're having trouble coming up with realistic objectives for a skill, you can measure it in a different way. You can consider two factors, consistency and ability. Now, in this case, let's take kiting as an example. You're the type of players that can kite like a god in 1v1 scenarios, but you freeze in a team fight. This means you can award yourself 48 points, for example, for ability, but only 30 for consistency. In the end, you can award yourself 78 points in this skill. This puts you in low gold. Another example might be warding. You ward a lot, but always in the wrong spots. This means you have 48 for consistency, but only 10 for ability. This places you in low silver because you have 58 points. To become good, you need to practice a lot, but also make sure you are practicing doing things the right way. If you want to get good fast, never die without knowing why you died. And don't blame your teammates. Now, I'm gonna show you all the skills you can or should practice to become better at League of Legends. Pause the screen and take notes, but over the course of the next few months, I'm gonna be releasing a video or try to be releasing a video every single week over each of these skills so that you can practice them and become good at them. Some skills are more important than others, but to become godlike, you're gonna have to practice all of them. Obviously, I have no idea if you're watching this video that was released yesterday or if it was released a year ago, but you should try to practice the skills that you're really bad at first and then seek to perfect the rest. Believe me, it's a lot easier to get from 0 to 50 than from 80 to 99. In the end, you can award yourself a general skill level. And you can do this for every player if you have the patience. You can do this by adding up all the skill points. And it can range from 0, if you've never heard of League of Legends, to 3800. But that is kind of unrealistic since not even Faker has max points at all the skills. Don't judge me by my last sentence, please. As I said earlier, guys, I'm going to be releasing a video every week dedicated to each of these skills. If this helped you out in any way, try to recommend it to a friend who also needs help and please subscribe. It really helps out my channel grow and it's going to help me make better content for you guys to improve. Thank you very much for watching. Sakeos out.